but flights out of the area remained extremely limited. At Miami International Airport, many outbound flights were cancelled, leaving residents scrambling to rebook to anywhere outside the path of the storm. American Airlines, which has one of the larger operations in South Florida, said on Thursday it had added 16 flights out of Miami, amid more than 2,400 forced cancellations through Monday. Delta Airlines Inc. said it had upsized aircraft and added flights to increase the number of available outgoing seats by 2,000. United Airlines added six flights out of Miami to its hubs, including Newark, New Jersey, and Chicago O'Hare. All three carriers said they planned to mostly win down South Florida operations by Friday evening. An areas already pummeled by the powerful storm, flight operations had been rolled back and halted altogether. A Delta-operated flight from New York to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and back, made headlines for narrowly avoiding the storm in a mission to evacuate another plane full of passengers from the area ahead of Irma's landfall. Flight tracking website saw the plane land for one last departure in the U.S. territory, located squarely in the path of Irma's landfall, fill with passengers, and make its successful flight back to New York on Wednesday. Other airlines had already ceased operations in the region. Price gouging medical student Eric Slava said he was dismayed by ticket prices over $2,000 when he started looking for flights earlier this week. He got a ticket to Detroit for $700, he said, because nobody wants to go there. Publix can charge $50 for a case of water without getting accused of price gouging, but airlines can charge 50 times the price of a normal ticket. I don't think that's fair, Slava said. Airlines' customer service practices have come under fire in recent months, and just last year, U.S. carriers were cleared in a federal investigation regarding exorbitant fare mark UPS in the wake of a deadly Amtrak derailment that drove up demand for air travel on some routes. Senator Bill Nelson, a Florida Democrat who had been pressuring airlines to aid in evacuating Florida residents, spoke with airline executives on Thursday and urged them to add more flight outs of Florida. His office said Nelson is pleased airlines were doing everything they could to help get impacted Floridians to safety. The Federal Aviation Administration is holding twice daily phone calls with airlines to talk about airport conditions, but does not plan to close the Miami airport on Friday, officials said. Airlines are still planning for airport closures, however, and said they expect their operations to be impacted in the region at least through the weekend. Also affected by the storm, Carnival Cruise Lines, which has major operations out of Florida ports, said on Thursday it had cancelled four of its Caribbean cruises, though it still planned to operate several more under modified itineraries.